Hi, this is Travis with POSKIES.com. Today we're taking a look at the Android operating system and doing data collecting, and in particular doing barcode data collecting. Uh, there's a couple different options. If you buy a mobile computer or tablet made for doing data collecting, then there's uh, built-in barcode scanners. Uh, if you are using a phone or a consumer level tablet, then you'll want to pair a Bluetooth barcode scanner with it. Uh, in any case, when you use either the onboard scanner or a Bluetooth scanner, the data generally gets sent to the Android device as keyboard data. So wherever the cursor is, is where the barcode data will be scanned to. Here we have the Motorola ET1 tablet. This is their enterprise tablet and it runs an older version of OS. It actually runs a uh, gingerbread version of it. Um, in it, you have input a couple different ways. One is you have your standard on-screen keyboard. Two is there's an attached barcode scanner. So you can scan barcodes that way. And then three is we paired it with a Motorola CS3070. And you can also scan barcodes that way. So if you take a look, you have the on-screen keyboard that still functions. You have the attached barcode scanner and you have the Bluetooth scanner. All three are capable of working at the same time. Here I have a slightly newer Android uh, phone or mobile computer. This is the PA700 by Unitech. It also has a integrated barcode scanner and Bluetooth, so you can pair with a uh, Bluetooth barcode scanner. Here is the Opian 2002. So with this device, when you click uh, input field, the on-screen keyboard came up. You can scan with the Bluetooth scanner, or you can scan with the top integrated scanner. If you don't want the on-screen keyboard to come up, you can disable it. You have to go into your choose input method. And then there's a toggle at the top where it says hardware physical keyboard. Set that to on. And then the on-screen keyboard is disabled. So that's either how you disable it. It's also how you enable it. If you um, by default pair with a Bluetooth barcode scanner and the keyboard is gone and you want the keyboard back, then the same deal. You go into your input method and you toggle the input method, to the physical keyboard to off. So two different options for scanning barcodes with the newer version of Android. Two different options for scanning barcodes with the older version of Android. Um, to purchase a tablet or a mobile computer running Android or Bluetooth barcode scanners, please visit us at posguys.com. Thanks.